My present ministry is to work as the vocation director for the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales for the Wilmington, Philadelphia province. This ministry is exciting because I am allowed to walk with men as they ask deep questions about their lives. Things like how they should spend the rest of their lives, who is Jesus, what gifts and talents do they have, how can they bring them to others. I chose in parish ministry at this time of my life uh, because I really feel the need to exercise my sacramental priesthood. One of the things I love about my Ave life, again, is that I've had the opportunity to have so many variety of ministries. Presently, I'm the provincial of the Oblates, and I have the ministry of leadership, which I have been understanding as pastoring the pastors. And it has been a privilege for me to walk with my Oblate brothers as pastor in this uh, ministry of provincial. What I most value about my Oblate vocation is the fact that I can do so many different things in the church today. Um, the Oblates are involved in so many different ministries, education, parish work, and there's just such an opportunity to do so many diverse things in a way that is spreading this Salesian charism. And I love that. I think that's the real excitement and real value in joining this group. What I most value about my Oblate vocation is the way in which um, it positions me to relate to people. The thing I think I value most about my life as an Oblate is my ability to celebrate the sacraments as a valid religious. And so for me, the parish life, all the peripheral administration responsibilities are there. What really excites me is, is being able to walk with people and celebrate the sacraments with them uh, from through birth and baptism, through uh, burying them in the, in the graveyard. I didn't expect preaching to be so fantastic, you know, to to be um, a person that breaks open God's Word and I think uh, creative ways and, and, and people really listen to it and they, they track with it and get a lot of great feedback from that. I can't tell you how many times I've been touched by the stories that people share and it's through others that we realize that, um, that there is God can be present in our world today even though sometimes we feel like it can be very distant. The grace part of the vocation for me comes from the realization that I'm fragile, I'm weak, but I'm also gifted. The realization that humility comes when you need other people. And I value in my vocation the fact that I can be humble enough to listen to other people, to help them direct me. The best highlight I had was my eight years in the inner city of Philadelphia at Frankfurt at St. Joachim's, as we like to say, St. Joachim's Parish. Uh, it was extremely challenging, probably one of the most challenging ministries, but also one of the most growth-filled ministries for me personally. I went in there thinking it was going to change the world, and the world that was St. Joachim's changed me for the better. I never dreamed uh, growing up that I would um, be a principal of the school. Never thought that I would do that. Never thought that I would be, uh, you know, running the formation program. Uh, so. There are surprises and, and, and joyful surprises uh, in experiences that have happened over the years. But definitely never could have envisioned that where I am today is where I, where I thought it would have been 30 years ago. We are all called to take responsibility for the church. And the many ways in which I have had in ministry to share that with people has been real exciting. The opportunity to do all sorts of different things in the church today and to speak to people, to, um, to really lead in terms of their faith life. I think that's just one of the great gifts of my vocation. In Philadelphia, where I live right now, I'm integral in working with uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Philadelphia Flyers, doing work with the Phillies in some sense. I would have never been able to do that if it was, and I wouldn't have been able to do it well if it wasn't for my um, ability to be open to the spirit of the Oblates who really broadened me in so many different areas which, which, which makes conversation, which makes life so much more interesting. We've begun a number of new ministries that are really shaping the way we want to do, uh, minister in the world today. Uh, one, of, one of those is a, a nativity school in Wilmington where we offer free education to uh, inner city kids who wouldn't have the opportunity to have as quality and education as other people. The Alvis of St. Francis de Sales have been doing some really good ministry, you know, for many, many years on the East Coast, around the world, but our province on the East Coast. And um, people recognize that, and that's exciting. I see signs of hope in the different ministries that we've continued to develop over the years. Uh, 
again, putting efforts forward and expend, making expenditures so that we can reach out more to the poor in the Nativity School or in the Camden Project or the sales service work. So I really see us moving optimistically forward. It's experiencing us and saying things are going to be okay because we believe in the bigger picture and we believe that through the history of, of salvation that our God walked through some really difficult times. And the ending was always excitement. The ending was always joyful. And I think we need to bring that to people.